Hello teachers, learners, and parents. Sir Jeff po at your service. Alam nyo ba na meron tayong website na tinatawag na DepEd Commons? Ang DepEd Commons ay binuo upang gawing accessible ang pagtuturo at pag-aaral dito sa ating bansa gamit lamang ang inyong mga smart devices gaya ng cellphones, tablets, at computers. Dito ay maaari nating ma-access ang iba't ibang learning materials mula sa Department of Education. Meron itong mga interactive materials, electronic self-learning modules, at instructional video lessons mula sa DepEd TV na tiyak na makatutulong sa pag-aaral ng mga mag-aaral galing ka man sa public o private school. Walang problema. Dahil welcome ang lahat dito. Para ito sa mga guro, magulang at mga mag-aaral mula sa kinder hanggang grade 12, alternative learning system o ALS, at pati na rin ang special education. At huwag kang mag-alala dahil kahit walang load ay maaari mong ma-access ang mga learning materials. Tama! Libre ito! Ang kailangan mo lamang gawin ay i-on ang iyong data at buksan lamang ang iyong browser at i-type ang commons.deped.gov.ph. Alam na ba ng iyong mga kasamahang guro o mag-aral ang tungkol sa DepEd Commons? I-share mo na ang video na ito upang matuto rin sila kung paano gagamitin ang DepEd Commons sa mabilis at napakadaling paraan. Muli! Ito po si Sir Jeff at kita-kits po tayo sa DepEd Commons. Paalam! Magandang araw, Sir Wilbur po at your service. Narito ang itulay upang gabayan ka sa inyong pag-aaral upang lubos na maunawaan ang iba't ibang paksa o subject. Ang itulay ay isang free online tutorial class na pinangungunahan ng ICTS Educational Technology Unit sa pumumuno ni Undersecretary Alain Del B. Pasqua. Ang programang ito ay hindi lamang para sa mga bata, kundi ito rin ay magsisilbing gabay sa mga magulang at mga guro kung paano nila ituturo o gagabayan sa bawat asignatura ang kanilang mga anak o mga estudyante. Sa kasalukuyan, ang self-learning module mula sa regyon ng Calabarzon at kilala sa tawag na pivot ang ginagamit sa ating itulay online class. Kaya ano pang hinihintay ninyo? Ihanda na ang inyong mga ballpen o lapis, papel o kwaderno at samahan kaming itulay ang pagkatuto para sa bawat batang Pilipino. Sama-sama tayong magtutulungan para malampasan ang mga hamon sa panahong ito. Halina't matuto kasama ang inyong online tutor sa oras na ito. Hello everyone, this is Teacher Mary Ann. For today's topic, we're going to discuss about making a poster. Quarter 2, Week 6. After going through this lesson, you are expected to apply skills in layouting in making a poster. Are you all excited? Let's start! For your learning task 1, Arrange the jumbled letters to form the word. Be guided with the given meaning. So here are the jumbled letters. A field of art that has to do with the communication of some specific message to a group of people through use of words and pictures. What is your answer? All right! The correct answer is graphic design. Next, jumbled letters. Often displayed publicly for announcement purpose. What is your answer? Good job! The correct answer is poster. Learning Task 2, think of 5 software we can use to make our art beautiful and attractive. I'll give you time to think about it. 
So here are the list of software we can use. Number one, diagramming software. Number two, vector graphics editor. Number three, desktop publishing software. Number four, computer-aided design software. And number five, 3D graphics software. So aside from this software, we can also use Photoshop, GIMP, MS Paint, and many others to make our art beautiful and attractive. What is a graphic design? Graphic design is a field of art that has to do with the communication of some specific message to a group of people through the use of words and pictures. The message might be, this is a good product to buy or this is the best way to fly. A single artist or an entire team of specialists, artistic directors, illustrators, photographers, writers, market researchers combine to create a work of graphic design. The artists who are in the field of graphic design are called graphic designers. What is a poster? Special to many graphic designers are posters. A poster is a kind of a placard or announcement that has its goal in the communication of information through words, pictures, and symbols. Posters are often displayed publicly and vertically on windows, electrical posts, doors, wall, along highways, and others. They are made either small leaflets or handbills or large billboards. People who are walking by, traveling, and reading are the main target audience of posters. The elements of the art is the basic unit of all artworks, just like in making a graphic design. It means that all artworks, from the most simple doodles that we do and the most complex artworks that we see, will have all seven elements. It can make the work more beautiful and pleasing to the eye. It can also convey message of the artwork more easily, primarily makes use of a lot of colors. Your software has several tools that provide all the colors you will need and make coloring your painting easy. Class, here are the examples of posters. It is all about COVID-19. As you can see, the posters are beautiful and attractive because it follows the principles and elements of art. For learning task 4, answer the following questions. Question number 1. What is a graphic design? As we discussed earlier, a graphic design is a field of art that has to do with the communication of some specific message to a group of people through the use of words and pictures. Question number two, what is a poster? Very good. A poster is a kind of placard or announcement that has its goal in the communication of information through words, pictures, and symbols. Question number three. How can you show your creativeness in making a poster? Answer to these questions may vary.
Okay, class, here is my sample answer. Put colorful designs that will fit the theme of your poster. Apply the principles of art using rhythm, balance, and proportion, and think of some ideas that will inspire others. For learning task 5, do this artwork. So, list of materials. We have long band paper, pencil, crayons, and ruler. Okay, so we have four steps to follow. Number one, make a poster about your school. Number two, make a different shapes and lines to draw your artwork. You can experiment with the different colors as well. Number three, apply the principles of art by using rhythm, balance, and proportion. Number four, display your work at home. Learning task six, rate your output based on the rubric given below. Here are the criteria. Number one, follow all the steps correctly. Number two, elements and principles of arts are visible. Number three, show creativeness. And number four, finish the artwork on time. So the high score is five, very evident. Number three, evident. And number one, not evident. Job well done. Thank you for watching. Sigurado ako na marami ka na namang natutuhan sa ating itulay tutorial session ngayong araw. Tandaan, ito ay hindi lamang para sa ating mga mag-aaral, kundi pati rin sa ating mga minamahal na guro at mga magulang na kaagapay natin para maituloy ang pagkatuto sa kabila ng nararanasang pandemya. Patuloy ding sumubaybay sa DepEd TV para sa mga araling ginawang video episodes. Mapapanood ito mula lunes hanggang sabado, alas 7 ng umaga hanggang alas 7 ng gabi sa inyong mga telebisyon. Abangan bukas mula alauna ng tanghali ang iba pang aralin sa ating Itulay Free Online Tutorial Session sa Filipino. I-like and subscribe at manatiling nakasubaybay sa ating Itulay Tutorial Session sa DepEd EdTech Unit FB page at Educational Technology Unit channel sa YouTube at sa DepEd Tayo at DepEd Philippine Social Media Accounts. Paalam!